lack of inventory, prices skyrocketing. And there's three main reasons for that. <laughs> Buddy Shane Setter here over at Royal Page Wheeler Sham, and today we're going to go over the reasons why our market is what it is right now: lack of inventory, prices skyrocketing, and there's three main reasons for that. Uh, we have a lack of inventory because of the pandemic. It's created a need for bigger space. We want the homes with the office now. We want a big backyard or a backyard at all so our kids can play around. We can entertain our friends and family outside in the backyard. It's created a need for this. And on the flip side of that, there are people out there who are reluctant to list their homes right now because of the pandemic, because of COVID. It's understandable. So there is that segment that still don't want to list and want to ride it out and wait till it's safer to do so. Number two, interest rates. We're at historical low interest rates. Uh, today's age now, we're getting 1.7, 1.8% interest rates. All that means is our monthly payment now on our mortgage is going more towards principal rather than the interest portion of that. We're paying down our mortgages that much quicker. We're gaining more equity in the homes that we have that much quicker. That's awesome. Number three, savings. Across Canada, we have over $75 billion stuffed away in savings right now because we're not taking those vacations at the moment. We're not buying lavish gifts, cars, TVs, and we're not eating out every night. So we're building that savings. So now we have our savings, we have our equity in our homes mixed together. We have buying power but there's a lack of inventory out there. And that's where it's spurred at the moment. Now, moving forward, going further forecasting into 2021, it's looking to be that way for the foreseeable future. A lack of inventory, but a great number of buyers. So wait and see. But is there deals still to be had out there? Yes, there are deals to be had where we've seen single town, single family detached homes and townhouses increase in price over this past year, anywhere of up to 20, 23%, condos haven't. Condos have been staying flatlined all throughout the year for the better part. Why? Because insurance issues that the strata condos have been facing this past year. Now moving forward, they're still, they're still working these, these issues out, but lobbyists, government officials, insurance companies that all have come to the table and they are going to fix that. We have to remember, condos are the one game in town where most people can play. It's affordable. We can live in them. We can rent them. They are an asset that's really good to obtain. Well, where does this leave you as a buyer, as a seller, as an investor? Ah. That, that's a question that's between you and your realtor to figure out the best avenue and the best course of action in this market that we're in right now. Anyways, that's all for now. If you have any questions, uh, give me an email, shoot me a text, comment below on this video here. I'm happy to answer anything regarding this or anything else real estate wise. I'm Shane Setter with Royal LePage with Hashem. Take care. Until next time.